This new electric car has no battery and just killed Tesla's future. Hi there! Have you heard of NEO? If not, well, you're going to enjoy this video. NEO is similar to Tesla, but with a unique twist, similar to China. The best thing about NEO is it can quickly replace the battery in your automobile. NEO recently achieved a significant milestone more than 30 million battery swaps. That's incredibly quick, and they perform more than 60,000 swaps each day. That's faster than putting gas in a car. NEO's making a lot of waves in the world of electric cars, and we're going to discuss it all in this video. So stay with us till the end, and let's begin. Not only is changing battery stylish, but it's economical as well. The way it works is that you visit a station to exchange your old battery for a new one whenever your electric car requires more juice. It's similar to replacing a dead battery with a fully charged one in a matter of minutes. Originally from Asia, this concept is currently becoming popular throughout Europe, particularly in Norway. With an astounding 65% of the population driving EVs, Norway is essentially the global epicenter for electric vehicles. It is therefore not surprising that they are the first in Europe to adopt NEO's battery swapping technology. If you are lucky and there isn't a wait, charging your EV the conventional method can take a very long time, between 30 and 60 minutes. However, changing batteries makes things happen very quickly between 3 and 5 minutes. This implies that you can quickly resume driving. The best part is you don't even need to move an inch. All your automobile needs is to be built for simple swapping, and NEO will take care of everything else. Thus, it is not only much more convenient, but also much faster, and that benefits drivers of electric cars worldwide. Though it didn't create battery swapping, NEO is setting the standard now. Although reaching 30 million swaps is a significant accomplishment, what's truly amazing is how quickly they did it. Moving back in time to May 2018, the month when NEO inaugurated its first battery swap shop in China. Battery swapping was novel at the time, and EV owners were unsure of it. NEO had second thoughts, though. They reached 1 million exchanges by 2020, and then they hit 10 million in 2022, and by April 2023, they had reached 20 million. After only six months, they'd reached 30 million. Their new exchange stations can be completed in no more than three minutes. In China, there are over 2,000 of them, 574 of which are situated alongside highways. By year's end, NEO plans to add 1,000 stations. NEO initially provided free swaps to entice users. However, they have since reduced the cost of their cars and added a fee for car shifting. Maintaining momentum and providing them with additional options is a wise decision. NEO's power swap stations are quite advanced and are positioned strategically throughout China. They switch out batteries very quickly using sophisticated robotics. NEO has a neat software known as BOSS, or Battery as a Service. You pay a monthly price for your electric car's battery as opposed to purchasing one along with it. Customers love that you don't have to pay a large sum of money up ahead. The fact that NEO is concerned by the environment is amazing. They reduce carbon emissions by powering their stations with a renewable energy. Additionally, they offer 24-7 customer service to assist with any battery swapping requirements. NEO's goal is to maintain both consumer satisfaction and environmental sustainability. Furthermore, they are well known in the area of electric cars thanks to their creative strategy. NEO's dealing with some significant obstacles despite its success. Despite having a large crew dedicated to research and development, they aren't selling enough automobiles to cover their costs. Not even 8,000 automobiles were sold every month between April and June of 2023, and that is insufficient to pay for their substantial investments. NEO has fully embraced advanced technology, utilizing robots in its manufacturing facilities and providing cutting-edge devices like augmented reality goggles and a phone that can communicate with their self-driving cars. The worst part is that none of this has brought them any financial gain. They lost an astounding $835 million in just three months. Despite the high cost of their cars, they sell for an average of about $42,000. They lose $35,000 on every sale. How then are they standing after suffering such severe losses? The question that matters greatly is that. NEO enjoys a significant advantage over many other businesses in China's expanding electric vehicle market. In 2020, NEO encountered financial difficulties. However, the local government intervened, investing a substantial $1 billion and acquiring a 24% ownership share. Then a consortium of lenders led by a state-run bank put up an additional $1.6 billion. For a while, this allowed NEO to survive. In the present day, NEO finds itself in financial difficulties once again. The main concern is whether they'll be able to recoup their significant R&D costs via automobile sales. Time will tell. 
However, at the moment, NEO's success is mostly attributable to financial resources and official backing. This is hardly NEO's only instance of government support. Even if they are losing money, a large number of other Chinese EV startups are also receiving support. BYD, another Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer, is one exception and is making money. In actuality, BYD is another participant in the EV game who's performing fairly well. In the first half of this year, they turned a whopping $1.5 billion in earnings. Moreover, Berkshire Hathaway, led by Warren Buffett, is one of their well-known backers. While NEO may be the master of battery changing, they are not the only ones. Tesla is also a contender, but they've adopted a distinct strategy. In 2013, Tesla demonstrated the ability to replace the batteries in its Model S. Although at the time it seemed like a major thing, it didn't endure. In an attempt to make up for it, Elon Musk even acknowledged that they had arrived late to the celebration. However, Tesla did not prioritize it even though it built one switching plant in California. Thus, while Tesla is forging ahead on its own, NEO is dominating the battery swamp scene. In the EV world, it's a classic case of different strokes for different folks. As it happens, Tesla is not exactly thrilled about changing the batteries. Unambiguously, a Tesla representative stated that they think charging EVs is the right course of action. They believe that changing batteries is too complicated and should not be done frequently. It's not just Tesla who holds this opinion. Other opponents draw attention to the fact that every automaker creates their batteries uniquely to meet their particular vehicles. Thus, there isn't one battery replacement method that works for everyone. Furthermore, hundreds of batteries would need to be stored and serviced simultaneously at each station. The main concern for Tesla owners is the frequency of battery replacement for their EVs. The worst part is that each battery is unique and thus the whole position is precarious. Indeed, EV batteries do not age uniformly. Some break down more quickly than others, and it might cost anything from $5,000 to $20,000 to replace them. That's quite the sizable range. Then, why do EV batteries deteriorate? Well, that relies on several factors, including the conditions in which the EV was driven and how it was charged. Rest assured, though, as Tesla claims that their batteries are built to outlast the vehicle. According to the estimates, a Tesla typically ends its life as junk in the U.S. after 200,000 miles and 150,000 kilometers in Europe. The best part is that Tesla's warranty will take care of you. Their batteries are typically covered under warranty for eight years or between 100,000 and 150,000 kilometers, depending on the model. So as long as you're not organizing an enormous cross-country road trip, everything should be fine. If Tesla is confident in the longevity of their batteries, one has to question why they don't sell it up to 200,000 kilometers. Maybe they're giving themselves a little leeway. Since batteries are the most expensive and heavy component of an electric vehicle, battery advancement is important to all EV manufacturers. In 2020, Tesla caused a stir with the release of their new 4680 battery pack. These bad guys enhance chemistry and higher density construction provide five times the energy of earlier generations. They also cost less to create. There are now a few Model Y automobiles made in Texas that use the 4680 battery pack and more are on the way. It's pretty fascinating stuff. So what do you think about changing the batteries? Does that increase your desire to purchase an EV? And do you believe that other automakers ought to join the battery swap movement? The comment section is wide open for you to share your thoughts. And if you enjoyed watching the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video.